Hey, I'm Pastor Jonathan Laurie, and I'm here with my dad, Pastor Greg. And when we woke up Wednesday morning, like many of you, we were shocked to see the images coming across our screens of what happened in West Maui, in Lahaina, specifically Old Town Lahaina uh, in particular, at the, the devastating effects that this fire had, this wildfire that came down from the hills and made its way into the community. Homes, businesses were completely leveled. It, it looks like an absolute war zone. This once happy and fun place is now completely burnt. I, I would say over 90% of it is completely gone. And we we're just devastated by this. And yeah. so many people um, reaching out, wondering how they can help, how they can support, how they can pray. Well, Lahaina is a destination for people all around the world. And when you go to Lahaina, there's a street called Front Street. Mm -hmm. And everybody ends up on Front Street. I think of all the times I've walked down that street, and I've met people from around the nation, yeah. other parts of the world who are visiting there. And like, here's a video that we shot recently when we were over there. And I'm riding a Vespa down Front Street. And, uh, and now, as you see how beautiful it is, look at these images of what it has looked like when this fire raged through this city and burned down most of the structures in it. And now we're hearing reports that at least six people have died. I'm sure that number is only going to grow in time. And upwards of a billion dollars in damages are estimated to be done in the area right there in Front Street in Old Town Lahaina. Now, obviously, we're, we're devastated by this. Uh, because of all those affected, but also our church is right there. We've got Harvest Kumalani just 10 miles away. This is uh, the way they make their living is right there with the restaurants and the shops and everything, but also their homes. So in one night, they lost their homes and their businesses and their way to make a living. And so, so many people are wondering, what can they do? How can they help? Well, we've set up a page where people can go and do that, haven't we? Yeah, we have. And it's called the Harvest Maui Relief Fund. Listen, we are on the ground with a church of around a 1,000 people in this community. The Harvest Maui Relief Fund will be there to help people in our congregation rebuild their lives. We'll be there to help other people in the community who've been devastated by this. We'll be there to be a bright light mm -hmm. on this island, bringing hope and comfort mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. I'm appreciative that my friend Franklin Graham and Samaritan's Purse are going to be involved on the ground as well, and we'll be working with them. But what we're asking you to do, the Bible says, rejoice with those that rejoice. You know, we think, oh, they live in Maui. I wish I lived in Maui. <laughs> you know, but we need to weep with those that weep. And these folks are hurting, and we want to help them, stand beside them at this critical time. So you see there on the screen uh, the link for the Harvest Maui Relief Fund. And whatever you send will be put to good use, helping people in a tangible way, but also helping people in a spiritual way, pointing them to a relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's right. So no gift is too small. We want to make sure that our church over on Maui is supported and they know that we love them and we're praying for them and we are serious about helping them over there. So thank you. Yeah, like they say in Hawaii, mahalo, which means thank you. God bless you.